you know, how long are you, are we going to be sufficiently restrictive until we have been sufficiently restrictive? Because what we want is to achieve the goal of returning inflation to target in a timely manner. As I said, for the fifth projection exercise, we have inflation at target during the second half of 2025, and that is on the basis of the baseline that we have in our projection. And we're going to observe how that baseline evolves over the course of time as data comes in to decide for how long we have to continue uh, cutting rates and at what point we have been sufficiently restrictive. So I'm not going to give you any idea as to where uh, our star is because this is an unobservable concept anyway and uh, we will, as we get closer to it, we will know certainly better uh, as, as you probably know, staff has produced a very good uh, paper on R star, which indicates that it's probably a, 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 a tad higher than where it used to be. But, you know, I'm not endorsing this. I think, as I said, as we get closer to it, we will know better whether uh, we are there. And there are multiple factors that are going to impact on that. 